You've probably seen this problem or um, had this problem assigned to you in every calculus class. Um, if you don't have this problem in your first year calculus class, I don't think you're actually in calculus. Uh, what we're doing basically, this is going to be a river. Um, make it a river like that. And what you want to do, this is the time distance optimization problem. So basically, the problem is you're here. Um, let's draw you. You're here. Just like that, and you want to be here. And so the, we can walk or we can swim. And so what we're going to do, actually, let's say that uh, this distance uh, down the river, let's say that uh, that's uh, 10 kilometers. And the river is going to be, let's say this is 5 kilometers wide. This is a big river. So anyways, what we want to do is um, we want to swim across it and walk across it uh, and walk across the shore. And there's actually going to be a point. Um, there's going to be some point to swim diagonally here that, uh, that's going to be the fastest and uh, reduce the total amount of time that takes. So uh, what else do we need to know? We're going to say that you can walk at, uh, at 5 kilometers an hour. So... So write that five kilometers per hour, and we're gonna say that you can swim at three. Oops, it's getting slow. Km per hour. So we know that this distance is ten. Um, so we're gonna say that we're gonna draw a triangle here, like this, and we're gonna say that we know this is five, and this is gonna be x, and we're gonna say like this. And then this distance here from, from here to here is going to be 10 minus x. Right, because if this is 10 and this is x, this is obviously going to be 10 minus x. Okay, so what we have to find out is, let's switch colors here. Um, we want the time that it's going to take us to get from here to here. And the formula for that is, let's say, time is going to be equal to this distance that we don't know yet uh, divided by the speed uh, plus this distance that we do have, kind of, divided by the speed. So we'll write that out. Um, we know that using Pythagoras theorem, this is going to be 5 squared plus x squared and take the square root of that. Right? So we'll have the square root of 5 squared plus x squared. And this is going to be divided by 3 because it's 3 kilometers per hour. And then we're going to add on the next part, which is 10 minus x. Uh, 10 minus x, that's the distance, over the speed, which is 5 kilometers per hour, or 5. All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to differentiate this. So uh, we'll just, I'll just rewrite it uh, the way that I like to do it. And, and you'll see it's a little bit easier to uh, work your way through. So if we rearrange this, we could say this is the same as 1 third times... Um, 5 squared plus x squared to the power of 1 half, right? This term here is exactly the same as this term. I just rearranged it. And then this will, um, but what we can do here, we can see that this is a constant and this is a variable. So let's just get rid of the constant um, or let's separate them out. So this is the same as over 10 plus 10 over 5 minus x over 5. And now Let's differentiate uh, with respect to x. Um, that's what we do with optimization problems. And so we're going to have dt over dx is going to be equal to. Now what we're doing is we're going to bring down the we're going to bring down the power of or the one half. So we already have one third. This will be times one half now. Uh, now we leave the inside the same. Times five squared plus x squared. And this is going to be now minus 1, so this will be power of negative 1 half. And then we differentiate the inside, which is going to be times 2x, right? We bring the 2 down. Uh, 2x. Okay. And now we'll go to the next term. Uh, this is a constant, so this will be plus 0. And then minus, um, what do we have here? 1 fifth. Because uh, derivative of x is just 1. Uh, or this will be the same as saying, like, 
um, this term here is the same as one fifth x, right? So one fifth times the derivative of one or derivative of x. So, anyways, yeah, we get uh, minus one fifth. Oops, go back to blue. All right, now let's clean this up a bit and see what we get. So this is still going to be equal to um, what we're going to have now is, let's just rearrange this. So we have 2x on top, 2x. Uh, we have the 3 and the 2 on the bottom, 3 times 2. Uh, the negative 1 half uh, brings us to the bottom, and this is the same as times the root of 5 squared plus x squared squared, right? Uh, that just goes to the bottom. Okay, uh, and then we're going to have, uh, and this is all equal to zero, right? Sorry, I forgot to write that in. In optimization problems, you want to equate this all to zero, because we're trying to find the local minimum or local maximum, right, of the derivative. Uh, in this case, we want to find the minimum time. So uh, if we said that, then we can just move this negative one-fifth over to the other side and equate this to one-fifth. Right. I hope I didn't lose anyone there. Uh, now, what we can do here, we can start cancelling a few things out. We can cancel these twos out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want to multiply both sides by five to get rid of this. And we're going to multiply both sides by three times the square root of five squared plus x squared. And so let's just go over here because I think I'm running out of room. Um, so we're going to have 5x, 5x is going to equal, because uh, that was 5 times x over here and that cancels that out, and then we're going to bring this over onto the top side, uh, and we're going to have equals 3 times uh, the square root of 5 squared, 5 squared, plus x squared. All right, so now what we're going to do is we want to get rid of this uh, the square root sign here. So we're going to square both sides. Uh, let's do that in another color. So we're going to square this side, and we're going to square everything on this side. So that's going to equal, um, sorry, this is going to be 25x squared. It's going to be equal to 9 times... 5 squared plus x squared. So now we're just going to group like terms and uh, we'll multiply this out. So let's just do it here. Uh, 25 x squared is going to be equal to 9 times 25 is 225. 225 uh, plus 9 x squared. And then yeah, group the like terms. Uh, we're going to subtract 9 from 25. We'll have 16. Uh, 16 x squared is equal to 225. Oops, it's going slow. All right, and we're just going to mosey on back over here and keep going. So we'll divide both sides by 16. We get um, x squared is equal to... Uh, 25 over 16, or 225 over 16, sorry, and then x will be equal to the square root of 225 over 16. And if you just take out your calculator and calculate that, that is, uh, that's going to be equal to 3.75. And remember, we were calculating for x, uh, so what we just found out is that this distance here is going to be 3.75 kilometers and um, this one would be I guess uh, 6.25 kilometers now because it's 10 minus x 6.25 so if our guy over here swims to this point here it's 3.75 kilometers down the shore from him uh, that's gonna equal the lowest amount or the quickest route for getting to this point over here